Hi everyone and welcome to another VoiceFlow tutorial video. My name is Mark and today we're going to show you how you can link your project with your Google account and then set up actions on Google and Dialogflow. By doing this, you can then upload your VoiceFlow project to test on the Google Assistant console in browser or on your Google Assistant device. Let's jump in. So here we are on the VoiceFlow canvas, and this is the same sample project we used when we were uploading to the Amazon Alexa developer console in the last video. Now how we can switch between building for Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant is quite easy. If we are on a solo project, meaning we don't have any other collaborators working on the project at the same time as us, we can go up to the top and we can toggle between building for Alexa and building for Google. The biggest change when we do this is when you're building for Alexa and Google, they use different intents. And so you'll see on Alexa, we have the go left and go right intent. And when we switch to Google, these are now empty. So we'll have to rebuild these intents. The reason for this is Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant have different natural language processing. And so you have to build different intents for each platform. However, you can still maintain the same logical conversation flow on VoiceFlow, which makes it much easier to build for both Alexa and Google at the same time. Other things that change when you are building for Google instead of Alexa is if we go into our step menu. On the left, you can see in the platform section we have different platform specific features available for Google than what would show if we were building for Alexa. And this is apparent when I toggle back and forth between the two. The steps available to each platform represents native functionality, meaning that this is the functionality that is specific to either Alexa or Google Assistant. So now let's go ahead and actually start the upload process. Similar to Alexa, we can go up to the top right and we can hit Upload to Google. When we do so, a modal is going to pop up and we are going to be prompted to connect with our Google account. Now, whether you're using a Gmail or Work G Suite account, it is really important to make sure that you're using the same account for this entire process. Okay, so I'm going to log in with Google. And you can see here we are prompted to sign in to continue to the Assistant CLI. So now I'm going to sign in with my VoiceFlow account. I'm going to use Braden at VoiceFlow.com. I'll click Next. Enter my password. Click Next. Okay, great. So here we are, and we want to allow Assistant CLI to access our Google account. And then we're going to be given this unique code of which we will copy. You can either do it manually or hit this little copy button. And then we want to go back to VoiceFlow and we want to paste in our authentication credentials here. From there, we're going to want to hit verify. Awesome. So if you've done that successfully, you will be brought to another modal where we will now want to link our dialogue flow credentials. If this is your first time working with Google Assistant, know that dialogue flow is the NLP, NLU, or the natural language processing and understanding that powers Google Assistant actions. And so that is why you need to create both an actions on Google account and a dialogue flow account to be able to test your projects on Google. Now we're going to go through the process of setting up our Dialogflow account and eventually dropping the credentials into VoiceFlow to link with our action. It's important to note that the full written tutorial of this process is also available by clicking the link in the modal. This document gives a step-by-step -step explanation of how to go through this process and can be used as a helpful appendix to this video. It also gives additional info about common errors you may run into and how to troubleshoot them. All right, so we've clicked the link and we're now viewing VoiceFlow's written tutorial, which is going to walk us through uploading our project to Google Assistant. The first thing we're going to want to do is set up our Google Actions account. And so we can visit this link right here. And from there, we're going to go to the Actions console. So here we are on the Actions console. And again, you want to use the same Google account that you used for the previous step when you were setting up your Google Actions console for the first time. Now I already have an account, and so you can see I have some sample projects here, but I'm going to go ahead and hit New Project. And what I'm going to want to do is name it the same as my VoiceFlow project. So you can see up in the top left here, my project is called My Sample Project. So we'll type that in here, My Sample Project. Okay, great. I can choose my country or region, and then I'm going to hit Create Project. Awesome. So now we've created our Google Action Project and we can scroll down to the bottom here 
and we want to create a conversational experience. So we're going to click on this, and it's going to go ahead and create. Okay, great. So here we are. Now what we want to do next is go to build your action. And we're going to want to add an action. All right. And then you're going to click get started. And we want to create a custom intent. So we're going to make sure custom intent is highlighted. And then we're going to click build. Now we'll want to sign in with Dialogflow here. And again, very important, we want to use the same Google account that we've been using throughout this entire process. Okay, so here we are on the Dialogflow console. And again, you can think of Dialogflow as the engine behind Google Assistant Actions. It is the natural language processing unit. Now we're going to want to go to the top here and hit create. Once that finishes loading, we'll have successfully created our Dialogflow agent. And you can see in the top left here, we have my sample project as the agent. We can now go into the settings here and we want to click on service account. And again, up at the top, we want to make sure that our agent is the same name as our action. So let's click on service account. Here we are on our Google Cloud Platform service account. And you can see I already have a couple of different service accounts. However, we're going to go ahead and create a new account. In the service account name field, we're going to put VoiceFlow Creator Tool. And once you've typed that out, you're going to go down and hit Create. Now for permissions, we want to select Dialogflow API Admin. There it is there. Excellent. And then we'll want to hit Continue. This is the last step. We're almost there. Next, we want to go Create Key. And we want to make sure that the key type is selected as JSON. Then hit Create. Here we go. You can see now I've downloaded the JSON file to my computer and I can find it in my downloads folder, but I'm also using Google Chrome so I can conveniently see it right here at the bottom of my browser. I can go back into VoiceFlow and I can drag and drop this file in the modal. It's going to say successfully uploaded. Then I'll hit upload one last time. And there we have it. We are now successfully uploading our Google Action to our Google Actions console. From here, we'll be able to access it on the Google Developer Action console, where we can prototype and test it in the browser or deploy it on our Google Assistant device. If this is taking more than 30 seconds to upload, don't worry. Often on your first time uploading to Google, this may take upwards of one to two minutes. For faster results, you can always prototype your project on VoiceFlow. However, we are going for the full Google Assistant experience, and so we wanted to go through this process with you. Great. So now our Google Action has successfully uploaded to Google. And very similar to Amazon Alexa, we can go ahead and actually click on this link, and it will bring us right to our Google Action. Great. So here we are on the Google Actions console, and we can go ahead and hit Talk to our Test app. And we can hit Enter here. Here's the test version of my test app. Hi, welcome to VoiceFlow. Would you like to go left or go right? Now, we don't have any intents enabled. If you remember, when we switched over from Alexa to Google, we no longer have active intents. And so we'll have to rebuild them for Google in order for this to work. However, we can now see that it is successfully accessing our Google Action by showing us the custom prompt we created. Hi, welcome to VoiceFlow. Would you like to go left or go right? So that's awesome. Now, if we want to actually test this on our physical hardware, we could go ahead and simply ask our Google Assistant device. Now that we have our Google Assistant account linked up with our Actions console, we just need to make sure our device is signed into the same Google account. Once that's done, all you'll need to say is talk to my test app, and you'll be able to test your experience right on your device. If you're having any problems testing on your physical device, you can go up to the top here and make sure testing on device is enabled. This can be toggled both on and off. And that's it. To recap, we went over how to link your project with your Google Actions console, and then showed you how to set up actions on Google and Dialogflow, so you can test your Google Actions both in the browser and on your Google device.
Once again, two key things to remember here. First, you will have to rebuild your intents between Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. And so this app, for example, won't work until I go ahead and rebuild those intents in VoiceFlow. And second, if you want to test on your device, be sure that the Google account that you use for this entire setup is also the Google account that you have on your physical Google Assistant device. Now in the next couple of videos, we'll be going over how you can create more powerful voice app projects using things like logic, conditional statements, and APIs. Thanks so much for joining me today. We'll see you then.